more adamantly hunting for the sub's launch key. I hope we haven't disappointed you too greatly. I'd uh, hate to anger our landlord. I believe I'll survive. But am I mistaken? Does your god not require you die in a nuclear blast? Is that not why you've taken up in the nucleus? It's not a transaction, Dima. Adam requires nothing of us. He has granted us a chance to become something greater. To divide our weak mortal frames and bring life to millions of new worlds. We are simply accepting the opportunity his glow presents, whatever form it may take. So if you found the launch key, you wouldn't use it? That I don't know. Are you afraid? I'd be mad to say I wasn't, but we've made a home for ourselves here. Friends, a family. A place you belong. Exactly. The nucleus. It is a blessing of the truest order. It would be hard to leave such a gift, even if it is for another. But regardless, the key is lost. So, until Adam sees fit to return it, I dare say you're stuck with us. I believe I'll survive. Thank you for coming so quickly. I heard about the execution. I can't believe they killed your missionary, Martin. I'm sorry. Brother Andrews, a good soul. The fault is mine. If I'd realized things had become so tense in Far Harbor, I would have never let him leave. They blame us for the fog overrunning the town, Dima. And now, the children... He wants to prepare for war. Yeah. I think the others will follow me. Time was. I would have laughed at such a notion, but now... Andrews was beloved by many. It's brought out the worst in them. Fury, hate. It was tolerable when it was just Texas. Dima, something must be done. Exile? Exodus. I think it's time you and I convinced the citizens of Far Harbor to leave. You can't be serious. You know as well as I, they're not meant for this place. The fog grows thicker every year. How long before the condensers are finally overwhelmed? It's not banishment, Dima. It's mercy. I'm sorry, Martin, but no. They have as much right to be here as you do. Right? This place is trying to kill them. And now my people are at my throat because of the mess you created by allowing them to stay. And if you can't recognize that, then I suppose there's no reason for you to be here. I think you should go. Martin, please. This can be solved in other ways. Get out! Very well. We'll talk again when you come to your senses. Dima, uh, thanks, I recovered the tapes I've from Martin's hideout. Excellent. Yes. These look like they'll serve. Let me take a listen. Hmm. Good to hear his voice again. Oh. Some grim material to work with. There. No pleasure in twisting the words of an old friend. But I believe Martin would understand. This tape should be sufficient to pique the High Confessor's interest in joining you in the command center. But 
Protectus is nothing if not wary. Earning his trust before approaching should help guarantee this all plays out more smoothly. You'll then have to dispose of the remains. Old maintenance shaft walls were never terribly well maintained. They should be able to serve your needs. Once you're done, return here and we'll send the replacement on his way. Now, are you ready to begin? How should I earn Tectus's trust? Prove your dedication to the family. Help when they ask. Show that the children and Tectus can rely on you. He'll be less likely to suspect one of his favorites. Now, are you ready to set this plan in motion? I'm ready. Then I won't keep you any longer. Here, the tape. The fate of this island rests in our works. Excuse me, High Confessor? Greetings, my child. You know you've set quite the example here. True devotion to faith and family. Now, how may I serve? I recovered a holotape. Confessor Martin is planning to come back and take over. We should come up with a plan, but not here. The command center tunnels should be far enough away from the rest of the children. Martin? It can't! Play it. I want to hear that coward's voice. Listen, children. Tectus' time is over. The Nucleus must prepare for a new order. Mine. I can't believe it. He's alive. None of the other children can know about this. The command center, you said. I'll ensure we aren't disturbed. Be respectful. You walk through hallowed halls. you found. And you're sure you weren't followed? You needn't worry. Martin has no ears down here. Now, what can you tell me? Why are you so afraid of Martin? Afraid? It is not fear, child. Martin, he was the fearful one. Unwilling to stand up to Far Harbor to fight for this land. I am the only one willing to do what is necessary to keep this family safe. And I will not allow him to put this place in jeopardy again. Now, your tape. Did Martin give it to you, or did you find it elsewhere? Please, I must know. Dima sends his regards. Dima! You traitorous! Oh, mercy! Hold 
thought we were getting along. It sounds like quite the experience, but I'm glad to know there will be peace on the island again. Atom's vision was clear on the matter. I... I must thank you again for sheltering me while under its sway. Think nothing of it. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. You are too kind, Emu. I should only need just... A little more fresh air. Have you ever considered our unique perspective, Nick? We are free-thinking synths, but we cannot hide what we are. The only unique perspective that's given me is the view of disgusted and suspicious faces and the occasional solid object being thrown at me. Exactly. There is a resilience that gives us. It's something I try to impart to everyone here. How to live as what you really are, despite what others think. Well, as long as what others think isn't, you need to be shot and put in the ground, then maybe you'll be okay. Hey, Dima. I suppose you've heard the news? The High Confessor's had a vision. Atom demands peace. Can I assume you're here to tell me your task is done? It is. Does this mean the island's finally safe? I believe it does. I'm starting to envy Dima. This whole situation makes me wish I could erase my memories too. Peace can finally come to the island. It's a heavy burden what we've done. But now the Nucleus... Far Harbor and Acadia will all flourish together. And you really believe you can trust the High Confessor? I do. I've done this before, remember? <laughs> I have given him all of the best traits of Tactus and also of Martin. Memories of his gentle voice will guide the new High Confessor. It was the right thing to do. It was... necessary. Hope for a better future. That will be the judge of our actions. I'll handle things from here. I'll arrange talks between the Children of Adam and Far Harbor. They will learn to prosper together, under our guidance. The children will revel in their irradiated bastion. The harbor men will continue to survive and reclaim what the fog has taken from them. And my people will remain safe. Here, for all you've done. You should also pay a visit to the Nucleus. I believe the High Confessor will want a word with you. And of course, you are welcome in Acadia whenever you like. After all, where would we be without you? like there's going to be peace on the island. It was you, wasn't it? You found a way to fix things. 
You've been all right while I've been gone? Yeah, I have. I feel like a lot of weight has been lifted from my head. Hey, listen. So, when you first showed up, you came to get me. To bring me home. I've been thinking a lot about that. I hurt Kenji and Ray by leaving, didn't I? I could have just stayed home, pretended everything was alright, but I left them. Should I go back? They obviously still care about me, or who they think I am. They need a daughter. They deserve to have one. Everything in Acadia has been settled. I found my answers. Maybe it's time I did something for someone else. What are you talking about? I know the real Kasumi is dead. She was replaced with me, but do Kenji and Rei really need to know that? What if we could be a family again? All I have to do is go home. Give them the daughter they thought they lost. Don't I owe them that? You're right, Kazumi. They need you. Go home. I will. I'll start gathering my supplies and... I'll have to say goodbye to everyone. Thanks. For... everything. Maybe I'll... see you back in the Commonwealth? I'm home! Kasumi? Oh my god! My baby is okay! Welcome back home, Kasumi. It's good to be home. You... you saved my daughter. Thank you. Are you all gonna be okay now? Yes. You have made our family whole again. If any of you ever need help again, you know where to find us. Kasumi, does this mean... You know we're your parents, right? You're not a synth. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. I was just... so confused. I wanted to go... somewhere. Anywhere. It's okay, Kasumi. You're home now. Listen to Kasumi next time, Kenji. Don't just try to keep her safe. Talk to her. I know. I will. I was holding on so tightly, I almost lost her. There's one last thing you and I need to discuss. Your reward for bringing my daughter home safely. We don't have much to offer, but my father traveled the Commonwealth. He had quite a collection before he died. I buried it all near the house. I'm not the explorer he was. I don't need them. I think they would be better with you. What's in this collection? Things he picked up out at sea or trading at different towns he visited. I never really sat down and looked through it all. Thank you, Kenji. You've earned it. You traveled far and back to get me answers. Thank you again. You saved my family. We won't forget that. See you around, Kenji. Goodbye, Nick. Best of luck to you and your partner in the future. Thank you for everything. We're a family again. This is how it should be.
Hey. Do something for you? Nick. In this line of work, you have to expect the unexpected. Still, I've got to admit, I've never had a case quite like Kasumi's. Really? Never? Well, there was that time I got hired by someone who'd been frozen in a vault for 200 years. That one's been a doozy so far. I'm glad things ended as well as they have. The Nakanos are a happy family again. As much as anyone around here can be. You're back. How did everything go with the Nakano case? I tracked Kenji's daughter to a synth refuge up north, near Far Harbor. She's back home. Safe and sound. That's great. We don't often get to bring people good news. It's a nice change of pace. Thanks for coming in for this one. I knew something good was happening when you and Nick started working together. Don't be a stranger, Gumshoe. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're giving our friend here all the credit. Just keeping you on your toes, Nick. 